I just got this awesome new ultra wide monitor and I figured it'd be a nice moment to turn this into this. I'm Emil, the practical engineer, and today I'm making a monitor stand with integrated speakers and wireless charging. The monitor stand is going to be basically three parts. You have the speakers on the side, then the flat panel that connects the speakers, and then the monitor mount itself. I think the speakers are going to be the hardest part for me with all the angles to get it right. So I'm going to start with that. Last week I already went to the lumber yard and I bought this nice birch wood. Since I don't have a planer and a jointer here, I asked them to flatten it so I have a nice material to start with. So let's chop this up. So it took me about the whole morning, but I have the angled parts for both the speakers cut. The thing is with the track saw you have a little bit too much freedom. When you have the angle at 45 degrees, it's really hard to keep it straight. So I've upgraded my jig and now it seems to work. And I have these. So next up are the top and the bottom and the back panels and then I can do the glue up. Now I have these panels cut, I can glue the first speaker together and I'm going to do that by using painter's tape as the clamp. The second speaker is going to be the speaker with the wireless charger inside. So before I can glue it up I need to make a hole where I can fit this wireless charger in the top panel. if it works. Now I have the wireless charger in, I can glue up the second speaker. Since it works the same as the first one, I'll do this a bit quicker. So while the second speaker is drying, I can already work on the front and the side panel for the first speaker that I made. And since I'm gonna paint that, I can make that out of regular plywood. Finish is dry and my speakers finally arrive. So that means I can build the speakers.
In the speaker, I think it's good to have some dampening material and there's special material for that and I don't have it. But I do have this fake snow. I've used it before and it's like a blanket of snow. You can buy this every Christmas, after Christmas for really cheap. So works just as well, I think. This speaker is the one with the amp in it and I have this little amplifier that fits just in here. So with the back panel on, it will look like this and you can adjust the volume in the back here. I'm mainly adjusting the volume on my PC anyway, so that's fine. I took a few shortcuts here by gluing in the back panels and the wire with some hot glue. And I'm only doing that because I know that this thing is going to be for me. And if it comes loose, I'll just fix it again. If you would make this for a client, it's better to use some screws or fix it in, a, in another way. Welcome to Made for Profit, a podcast where we talk business in the shop and help you monetize awesome. as a maker. Each week we cover business topics to help best. you grow your full-time business or your side hustle. Well, so let's make one thing clear. I'm not a speaker expert. So if you want to have a decent advice on building a speaker, there are some other cool channels on YouTube that I will link down below where I've got my small amount of knowledge to build this one. And I probably made some mistakes, but to me, they sound fine. So I'm happy with them. Let's take it upstairs and mount the screen. I'm super happy with the way it turned out. The speakers work great. The wireless charging is a huge win for me because always when I'm sitting here my phone is empty and now I can just drop it on there and it starts charging. Also the ultra wide screen from Philips is an absolute pleasure to use. When doing video editing or photo editing, the one big screen, it's just really nice. If you want to get this exact same model, I will link it below. And don't forget, dare to experiment and have fun creating. And I'll see you in the next video.